All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel, where I'm gonna discuss the top three reasons I think everyone should have chickens. What do you think? She doesn't care. Over the years, uh, we've had chickens for, I don't know, six, seven years, something like that. Now, uh, we've gone from having our little suburban flock uh, there in the, in when we're in, uh, in our small small little homestead there, the suburban homestead, out into this larger, uh, larger area here, and we have just, just loved having chickens. Uh, this is where we kind of started into this whole journey of being sustainable and raising our own food and gardening and all this stuff. It was centered around the decision for us to have, have chickens at our home. And so uh, I'm a big fan I, and I recommend them to everybody that I talk to, friends and family. Uh, I always recommend chickens. I think they're a great place to start. And so I thought I would discuss the top three reasons that I think everyone should have chickens. Well, what's so great about chickens? Why are they so important? And, uh, and why should you maybe get chickens this year? My number one reason why I think everyone should have chickens is they are just super easy to raise. They don't require a lot of space. They're good in almost any environment or any climate. Uh, I was just down in Cuba a few months ago. People had chickens running all around a real hot environment uh, up north here in Michigan and even up uh, more north in Canada uh, people lots of people raise chickens uh, we raise the barred rock breed different breeds do do good in different environments uh, barred rocks are a good kind of uh, 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 winter climate uh, Michigan uh, type climate bird um, they lay eggs pretty much year-round and they're just real hardy and so they, they do good in our cold winters up here but but overall chickens can be raised almost anywhere if you live in a city lot if you live in a suburban uh, subdivision or something like that as long as your city or local or ordinances uh, permit it, chickens can be raised in almost any size area. They don't need a whole lot of area. Um, the more area you give them to free range uh, around your yard, the better, but they don't need a whole lot of area. They can be raised in very small chicken coops. They can be raised in these little chicken tractors that people get that you move all around their yard and different things like that. Uh, there's so many ways to raise chickens. You can convert all kinds of different things into chicken coops. They're cheap and easy to build. And, uh, and so chickens are just all around a very easy to raise and easy to house bird. They're also very docile. So, you know, most, uh, most chickens are, are gonna do great with kids and, and whether you're older or younger, doesn't really matter. Uh, they, they're just very easy, easy to raise. Many people consider them pets and they uh, love to go out and spend time with them and pet them and hold them and feed them treats and all these kinds of things. And that's totally fine too. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're a great animal all around, just easy, easy to have. And that's why I recommend, you know, anybody can get into chickens. They're, they're just, they're just uh, well, they're just easy. So reason number two why I think everyone should have chickens is that they, they do a lot for you. They're, they're very productive for you. They, there's a lot of, I guess you could say, return on your investment. They're very useful for you. So uh, the three things that chickens provide for you, number one is eggs. Uh, eggs are, are obviously many, most of the, the reason why people have chickens. They, they're going to lay eggs for you just about one a day, depending on your breed uh, and depending on the time of year. In the wintertime, we get a little bit less eggs. In the summertime, you know, spring, summer, fall, we get more eggs. Uh, they're, so they're constantly providing food for you. And so even with a very limited number of chickens, six chickens, five chickens, you know, something like that, you're gonna have probably more than, than the amount of eggs that you could use for a typical family. Six eggs a day is, it can add up pretty quickly. So if you use a dozen eggs every two days, uh, you know, that, that's a lot of eggs. And so you can, you can get a lot out of chickens in a very small space and for a very low cost. Lay an egg, lay, lay an egg. And eggs are, are super useful. I mean, we use them in almost everything. You cook with them, you can make meals out of them, you can, you can use them in all kinds of different recipes, baking and all kinds of things. And so eggs are also just very useful. Now, the other thing that chickens produce for you is meat. And what we do with our chickens is we raise them in kind of phases. And so every year or several times a year, we'll collect up some eggs from our little flock here. We do have a rooster in our flock. And so we'll collect up some fertilized eggs from our coop. And we can put those in our, in our incubator in the house and you can you know, incubate eggs in these little small incubators. You can do five, six at a time. You can get bigger incubators for you know, 30, 40 eggs at a time. And, and throughout the year, or at least once a year, you can raise out the next generation of chickens for your flock and you can continue to do that and raise up new chickens and then the older chickens will go and get processed and they'll become uh, processed meat for us. Obviously we do frozen chickens and, and that provides food for us uh, as well. And so the, the chicken is just overall uh, uh, very useful for us. Oh, you don't, you don't like when we talk about the, 
the, the meat chicken part, which is very sensitive. So, and I guess the third thing, or the, the bonus uh, part of this, is that chickens are also great in your sustainable composting operations. All of their manures that they use, all the bedding we clean out of the coop uh, throughout the year gets thrown right into our gardens if it's in the, the fall and winter. And then the spring and summer that gets put into a compost pile where it composts with our other yard waste, leaves, grass clippings, weeds, and other things we get from around here, as well as other animal beddings and manures. And that will compost down and be our garden soil for the next year. And so uh, everything, every part of the whole chicken operation is useful. Uh, the birds are useful, they're, they're great, easy to raise little pets, and they just overall produce a lot for you. I don't want you to produce any compost for me right now though, okay? The number, and the third reason I think that everyone should have chickens is, and maybe this is my favorite reason, Chickens are super cheap. They, uh, they're they very good at converting things that you don't need, like bugs and worms and grass clippings and weeds and kitchen scraps and garden scraps and other things into things that you do need, like eggs and meat. And so uh, chickens are, are very inexpensive to raise and keep. Uh, in fact, if you live in a warmer climate where you may have a, a yard that is growing year round, grass is growing and other things year round, you can almost entirely feed chickens off of just free range area, even in a small city lot, if you let them you know, range your yard. Uh, for us here in Michigan, we do feed them grains throughout the winter time, but generally in the spring, summer and fall, they get almost 75%, if not more, of their food from the areas that we allow them to range in. They'll go out and they'll find every bug and worm and everything else in, in a whole area there. They're great at keeping mosquitoes and, and other bugs that you don't want, grubs in your yard and all kinds of other stuff like that. They're great at getting rid of that stuff that you don't want. You like bugs. Yep. And obviously all your kitchen waste and other things that are just going to get thrown into a compost pile, they'll use a lot of that uh, energy out of that food and then they'll produce it in a compost uh, when they're done with it. They're great at converting almost anything. Chickens are omnivores, so they can, they can eat just about anything. They can eat meats, they can eat vegetable stuff, they can eat bugs and all that good stuff and, and convert anything and all those types of different foods into eggs and meat, which is something that is more useful for us. I have even seen chickens go after frogs and snakes and other things, so they'll they're, they're little dinosaurs. They'll go after anything that they can eat, anything that moves, mice, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, they really can uh, get rid of a lot of things we don't want around our house. And so they're just great, uh, very inexpensive to feed, and they do a great job at converting things we don't want into things that we do. And a, and a bonus reason or use for the chickens uh, in regards to that is that they, they do great in your garden space. So uh, chickens can prepare ground for you in gardens. They, if you let them out in your garden spaces uh, in the fall time after your gardens have been harvested, uh, they'll go through and eat up all the leftover stuff, all the stuff that you didn't harvest. They'll, they'll uh, scratch through and get all the bugs and things like that out of there for you. Uh, they'll level that ground all out and knock things down and, and kind of get the garden ready for, for the uh, winter and for the next year. Uh, I've also used our chickens, when we have raised beds, they'll go through the aisles of your garden in the, in the mid-summer, uh, when things are growing up at their, at their tallest, um, and they'll go through and they'll eat bugs and other unwanted pests out of your garden. So they can do a great job at lowering, uh, you know, mechanically removing pests and other things, tomato hornworms and other stuff like that. They'll, they'll eat all that stuff up and keep them out of your garden. You have to be careful, though, they do like to eat your actual produce like tomatoes and things so uh, there, there is a there is a give and a take with uh, letting them loose in the garden in the summer she wants to go back to her life so for any of you guys out there who are thinking about getting chickens this year hopefully that helped you out I also would like to share a free resource with you uh, at SSLFamilyFarm.com if you head over to our website we have a free uh, chicken coop plans available to download uh, we, we designed this small suburban chicken coop with an easy clean out tray and system uh, that's a it's a great for you know maybe six to, to ten chickens uh, and, and the plans are available on our website for free so you can head over there check them out download them and uh, it's got a full cut list and walk through on all that stuff so you can uh, uh, jump over and hopefully build your own coop it's an inexpensive easy to build deal and uh, and so pretty much anybody can do it love to hear from you guys also uh, what are your thoughts uh, chickens uh, those of you guys out here who like chickens what are your thoughts on uh, why you why you like chickens why you think they're a good idea or maybe why you think they're a bad idea why do you think chickens uh, maybe somebody out there hates chickens uh, why do you think it's a bad idea to get chickens? We'll, we'll take that input also. Throw that stuff down in the comments. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. And of course, if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel, uh, we'd love to have you subscribe and, uh, and follow along. Hit the bell to get notified when we post new content. And uh, you can also follow us on social media at SSL Family Farm. So love to have you tag along. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.
Ready to go back to your chicken coop? Yeah, probably. <laughs>